What is up everyone? Jono here from Elder Trolls Gaming. Today we're going to be measuring the time to kill for all of the guns in Apex Legends here in Season 22. I know there are some tier list videos out there, but that ain't what this is. We're going to be looking at the data, that sweet, sweet data. I'm going to be zooming in for my ultra wide here so you can see when I actually start shooting. But let's go. So I think we're going to start off with the R301 first. We'll go through the light guns first. Um, I'm going to put a mag on it just so I don't run out of ammo i think you can still one clip someone with no mag with the r301 now that they buffed it a little bit of course this assumes you are going to hit every shot we're going to use all body shots and it's going to be from 10 meters away also you're going to hear my reactions to these in real time because i'm going to be reacting to them as i'm editing the video and making the timer this should be fun oh i'm going to start the timer as soon as the bullet i'm going to try to anyway start the timer as soon as i pull the trigger which usually means whenever the bullet counter on the top of the gun goes down by one, that's when I'm starting the timer. So let's get into it. First gun, R301, all body shots, 10 meters away. Go. 1.283, that seems pretty good. Uh, R301 is strong, I think, but we'll see what the other ones say. But this is the first one, so I have no frame of reference. But let's move on. Let's do the, uh, I think we're going to do the Spitfire next. Okay, so we got 1.366 seconds for the Spitfire. A little bit behind the R301. Very interesting. Let's try the G7. All right, G7 scout. Just going to spam and try to get body shots. Oh, 1.61 seconds. That seems a bit slow. I thought it would be better. Um, hmm. Okay, let's try the alternator. 1.35, that's pretty good, man, but you would think that the SMGs would have a little bit quicker time to kill. Whoop, the RE-45 got away from me there a little bit. The recoil is actually really strong on the RE-45. It goes up and to the right. Actually, the hardest gun to control so far. Uh, let's do hammer points now. 1.216, oh, we have a new... A new sheriff in town. This is the the quickest one so far. Uh, RE45 with hammer points. Despite that awful recoil. Like, it's actually super hard to control because of how much to the right it goes. Alright, P2020 next, I guess, without hammer points. Let's check it out. Oh, 1.566. Not shocking. Let's try with hammer points. And it comes with a fancy upgrade. 1.466 does not seem very good at all, even with the hammer points. Let's try, uh, let's try a Kimbo. We'll try to get all body shots here, but there is a hip fire spread I can't really account for. Yeah, man, that hip fire is awful. I'm actually missing bullets. Does this didn't happen with the hammer points? Into the hammer points increase hip fire accuracy? Wow, 1.4. Okay, that's not very good. And the hip fire is actually awful. So I, I'm pretty sure the hammer points make the bullets bigger so that it actually effectively increases the hip fire spread. Um, we'll see what happens though here. 1.316. For a Kimbo with hammer points, that just doesn't seem very good. I don't know. The RE with hammer points is better. All right, let's try the sniper rifle, the Sentinel, uncharged. And now this one might be a bit weird because there is that weird tempo perk on the Sentinel that it got from the hop-up it used to have. So this might be a bit weird. It's hard to get that fully in swing, but we'll try it and see how the quickest we can get is. Charged up. Hmm, it's slower. But that might be my reaction time on the finger, but I was clicking as fast as I could. Um, it could just be the tempo thing. Yeah, a little bit quicker that time. Let's try as fast as we can. Another thing with the Sentinel is, even if it's charged up fully with the tempo and charged up with your shield cell, it's still three shots to kill, so it's the same. There we go, that's what we're looking for. So quite a bit faster. All right, the charge rifle, uh, it does more damage from further away, so this is going to be really slow from up close, I think. Oh my god, what are we... This is so slow. 4.63. What am I doing with my life? Doing TTK on a charge rifle? Actually, it might be the same because it still takes three body shots from farther away. 
Oh, a little bit faster. Okay, let's go with the longbow this time. I'm assuming this is going to be much faster than the charge rifle. Charge rifle might be the worst. Oh, 2.4. Okay, that's definitely way better. Almost half the time. Wingman, 1.716. Very nice. Very competitive. Especially with that strafe speed. It's crazy. All right, I think that's the last snipe rifle. We're going to move on to uh, shotguns here. Let's let's do the Mozams. Let's just get straight to it here. All right, first we'll do it without hammer points. We'll see how fast it is. I think it's pretty good, actually. Like, it hits for 45 with a body shot. Like, if you hit all the pellets, which is essentially a wingman. But it shoots way faster. Yeah, like, that's really good. All right, now with hammer points. Uh... Actually, I think I missed a couple shots there, so I'm going to move a little closer. Okay, so it actually didn't matter. I think it's because those first two shots don't crack the shield. It still does the exact same shots to kill because you still have to take that extra shot. So the TTK is identical for all intents and purposes. All right, we're going to do the twin Mozams. Uh, purple, gold and purple at the same speed. And then we'll do with hammer points. 1.21. Okay, so I went back and I thought that number looked familiar. And it is the literally a, the exact same time as the RE45 with hammer points. To the millisecond. That is crazy. All right, so we're going to try the Mozambiques without hammer points. Now, I wonder if this is going to be the same as the single Mozambique without hammer point. It was like no difference in TTK because of the amount of shots to kill and when it breaks the shield. So let's see if it does the same. Okay, it's, it's actually faster somehow without the hammer points. But I mean, it's almost basically the same within, you know, margin of error. So yeah, it was as I expected. All right, next is the uh, EVA, EVA 8. What the fuck is this thing called? 1.383, that's pretty good. Although, Typically, you would use this much closer than this, so I think you would probably hit more pellets. I thought I saw a couple that didn't actually hit there, but I don't care. We're leaving it at 10 meters, and we're going to do the Peacemaker. We're going to do this full choke with the first shot. That seems the likely scenario that you would have, so let's try it. 2.2. Uh, That's pretty good. I mean, if you're a lot closer again, like I said, you could have a headshot on that and it would be a two pump. So it would only take you as long as pumping twice. So it could be a lot quicker. But if you're still not getting headshots and you get two 99 pumps, you still have to pump three times. So the TTK isn't going to be any quicker if you're closer. All right, Mastiff, let's check it out. Yowza, 1.7. That kicks like a mule, so it's hard to be accurate. But that first shot hits for a lot. 90. The Mastiff is strong now. All right, that's it for shotguns. Let's go with heavy weapons now. We'll start with the flatline, my baby. Probably my favorite gun here. Don't let me down. Don't let me down, flatline. Yes, all right, 1.26, hell yeah, hell yeah. Second fastest gun. Well, third, I guess. M-Lock. Oh, 1.5, okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I thought it would have been better. Let's try the Prowler. I think the Prowler is an absolute animal here. It can three burst people. Okay, 1.266. Okay, the exact same as the Flatline. Wow. I thought, wow, yeah, that's fucking amazing, man. Three bursting somebody is sick. This is a gun I feel not a lot of people use. I don't know. They used to use it. I mean, it was in the care pack for a while and they would use it, but it's really good. Moving on. 30-30. 1.85. Okay. I mean, it's not great, but again, these Markson rifles and the sniper rifles, there's no damage drop off. So that's the whole point of them. The TTK is going to be the same at any range. Rampage. Uncharged. Oh, okay. 1.583. I mean, it's not great. It's along the lower part of the list. Um, we're going to have to try that charged up. One point two one. Oh, another. Yo, these numbers just keep appearing. Like 
That's the same TTK as the Mozambique Akimbo with hammer points and the RE45 with hammer points. Another gun tied for first place. All right, let's try the car SMG. Yo, what? 1.183, like this is the fastest killing gun so far. Faster than Akimbo Mozams, faster than RE45 Hammer. That's actually shocking to me. I mean, wow. Okay, Nemesis. Now Nemesis has two operating modes, I guess. It's kind of spun up and then when it's regular, so we'll try spinning it up here. Oh, <laughs> Another familiar number, yo, like they, again, with these numbers, they must have done this on purpose. Like they make it the exact same, they balance. Is this not balanced, guys? I actually love to see that. I find that very interesting. All right, next up the vault, one of my favorite SMGs. Let's see how it stacks up. 1.25, okay. That's pretty good. That's good. That's almost identical to the flatline. That's crazy because I love to run flatline volt combo. Maybe it's because the TTK is like the same and I can feel that. So it's just like a consistent thing. Triple take. Full choke on the first shot. 2.416. Meh. It's about what I expected. I wasn't expecting too much from this. We know what the triple take is by now. All right, Dubstar. Let's check it out. 1.233, what? We knew it was strong. We knew it was strong. That's faster than the flat line. That's really good. Man, that Elstar is really good. And you don't even have to fucking reload it. Like, it's crazy. All right, now time for the Havoc. One of my favorite guns to use in the game. Well, okay, yeah, well, 1.43, I mean, we have to include the spool up. We have to, because there's no more turbocharger, right? Let's check it out, timing it from when the bullet leaves the gun, just for fun. Uh, and yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Like, it is the fastest killing gun in the game. All right, so we're moving over to the care package weapons here, the Devotion. And 1.2, that is the same as the Akimbo Mozams without hammer points. That's right, the Akimbo Mozams without hammer points are as fast as a care package weapon. All right, R9, let's go. 1.15, that is the quickest killing gun in the game, faster than the car SMG, although only by a very small amount, like it's almost negligible like 1.50 versus 1.183 on the car the car is really good all right let's check the bow we'll try to get the tempo full swing 1.66 now it's it's kind of hard to measure this because when do i really start i started it much like i started the charge up guns like the peacekeeper the triple take the 30 30 repeater so i started it as I'm holding the arrow back and I'm releasing my first shot. All right, Kraber time. 2.7. I mean, this one's kind of hard too. Like I immediately fired the second shot. You can see that like I wasn't even ADS before I pulled the trigger, which is probably best case scenario, like lowest TTK possible. All right, folks, that is it. I'm not going to do the knife because I couldn't hit the broad side of a barn with it and it is not a gun, but let's take a look at the results here. Care package R99 at 1.150 time to kill. That is the fastest along with a surprising car SMG almost immediately behind it, which is absolutely nuts. I'm gonna try to start using the car more actually. Um, I actually pick up the prowler usually over the car if I can, but now I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out just because of the results that I found here today. Let me know what you think. Comment down below what your favorite guns are. If anything here surprised you, if you're going to actually maybe start using one gun or another based on the data that we have here, let me know. But that's it. Peace out, and we'll see you in the next one.